I'm running a new series of light tests where I'll be comparing a bunch of full spectrum LED lights to a generic pan Villo light. I got this light off of Amazon after Migro recommended it and despite being a generic, this light has verified LM301B diodes and two mean well drivers. I think that makes it a good reference point to test the quality of name brands that should technically be better. I used the app Photone to measure the PPFD values on 9 squares and at 3 different heights for a total of 27 readings. All of the measurements were taken at identical spots and the heights were at 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches. Now the reason why I use the Photone app is so that you at home will have the ability to cross reference the lights you have to my tests. The app is only 6 bucks and as seen on Migros channel when compared to a $500 Apogee SQ500 the results are fairly accurate. The measurements were taken in a 3x3 Vivo Sun tent and the results are as follows. At 12 inches, it's a staggering 1764 PPFD, which is extremely high and higher than I expected, despite the provided PPFD map claiming 700 more. What I noticed is that the light has a very uneven light distribution, and this is mainly because all of the LEDs are spaced equidistantly. The body of this light feels solid and the two drivers are secured on really well. The front of the light has three bump outs which can be used to balance the light on flat surfaces. I counted and verified 952 LEDs, that's 56 infrared, 448 cool white, and 448 warm white, giving this light a full spectrum. I like the fact that the dial is on a tethered remote, so it's much easier to tweak without being in awkward positions to turn. What I don't like is how at the 24 inch distance some values fall under 600 ppfd. If this was a bigger tent, those measurements would be even less and in a 4x4 I'm guessing it'll probably hit around mid to high 300s. Overall, for a generic light that's 330 bucks, this is definitely bright and provides great value. If you do end up getting this light, make sure you get a 4 pack of rope clip hangers because the provided hardware was extremely cheap and this is what happened when I tried to hang.